This is the abandoned diner and it's time to get busy with the texturing. I've pretty much done the modeling here and I've decided that I am possibly keeping this geometry and this geometry and I put some on the back, close that up and that up and I made a little sign here. I don't know that I'm going to keep it if I decide that I do or put it up here or whatever. Uh, I'll show you how I made that but it's very simple. So yeah, I've already gone ahead and done some unwrapping just to save some time. So I'm going to show you that. I'm going to work on texturing this stuff uh, in this video. So uh, you can see I've got some Udim tiles here. I've got three. So there's the top uh, along with that piece. And there's that piece. Um, just in terms of how I unwrapped it, I just put seams in various spots that I thought I might want them and might accentuate some edge edge wear and i i put a seam across here underneath this thing and across there because i really needed all of this piece sort of i just grabbed another one but all of this stuff you know as a straight piece that i could put lines through i'll show you that in a bit so um i've got a seam under here and under here and same thing for this thing just at various various spots there's a little groove in there so i put some seams in there and it's it's kind of trial and error you can try cube projection on stuff like this and see how it works but anyhow uh that is what we're going to work on right now and i've also added materials okay so this is called top that's called top and that's called bottom and i'm going to be using separate materials and you'll see those in substance paint it just makes it easier to to do the material so if i come over to substance I've already baked this at 2K, and you can see my UV tile. So there's three UV tiles. I've got top and I've got bot, so I can just work on, on whatever. And I'm going to start working on the top. I'm going to create the material. And I do have some notes on the side here, just to, in case I need to refer to them. So I'm going to start by dragging in this aluminum over here. Let me just make sure that I'm just working in just, just 1K for now. All right, so this aluminum pure and come to the properties and I'm going to make this about a, about a medium gray and I'm gonna bring the roughness up to about 50%, leave the metallic. So I'm gonna start with that. And then I'm going to right click and add filter and we'll do we'll do the typical matte finish rough. Uh, you might want to look at this one sometime. It's kind of an interesting one, depending on how you've unwrapped. Um, that could be an interesting one. But I'm going to go with the uh, yeah with this matte finish rough, which I usually use. I'm going to turn on triplanar and just mess around with this a little bit and. Uh, yeah, get, get something that looks something that looks like that. Okay. Okay, so that's all right there. It's going to be okay. Uh, all right, so let's say we got those values. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I also may go for this directional aluminum on top of there just to really throw things around here. And for that one, uh, let me see, I do want to play around in here a little bit. So I'm going to go for triplanar. And I'm going to go for a scale of, let's try three. Just to have something interesting. And uh, in here, we're going to have uh, OpenGL. And... Okay, OpenGL. Let's see. Might even lower that down to zero and just have that in there. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like that effect there. And I was thinking I would try it on overlay. Kind of darkens that up nicely. But not quite that that much. We'll bring that to about 60 or 70. Okay, now I want to uh, we'll, we'll see if that sort of seam disappears in a while, what I need to do. Uh, I want to darken up this middle piece in here. 
So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to, I think, create another fill layer. And we'll just use color. And I'll make it darker like that. Maybe we'll put a black mask and come in here and choose, uh, choose that UV chunk. That's the word I'm looking for. Okay, I'm going for that. Just come back over here for a second. Okay. So that's, uh, we'll call it just uh, dark uh, inside. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is we're gonna do some edges. I'm just going to use color and a black mask and the edge, edge wear generator. There it is. And I'm going to use triplanar. And that's going to help with that seam, kind of, you know, kind of lose it. And uh, let's go for just a lower amount. The contrast. Okay, I got triplanar on and grunge amount. Grunge scale is fine. I'm going to bring down the curvature. Let's have a little bit of that in there. Okay, that's fine. All right, so we're going to call that edges. And now I'm going to add some rust. I'm going to use this rust fine here. And I'm going to let's put that on triplanar all right so that's helping and I'm gonna use a smart mask I'm gonna search for rust and I'm going to use rust drips drop that on there and let's just adjust this a little bit okay so rust spreading that's okay that's okay S smoothness maybe uh, drips intensity, we can bring that down. Uh, drips smooth. Uh, it's not bad as it is right there. Something like that. Bring it in just to just to blend it in. And what I might do here is uh, add a paint layer. And I'm going to get my dirt brush and just you know maybe with a little bit of lesser flow just paint some of that out and then in particular I'd like to paint it out on um, on this here so I'm just going to just it just you know generally come around here and paint it paint it out so that it's not quite on the as much on the inside, mostly on the top. So yeah, here we go, and just a little bit here and there. Obviously, I'm going to keep some of it. Okay, that's good. And if I want, I can paint some back in. Uh, I'll just decrease the flow. I'm going to increase the size. I'm just going to just dab at it here and there. And that's fine. I, I don't need to do much more than that. Okay, so that's what I'm going for pretty much. And uh, let's let's put on some dirt. So we got that, so we'll do another fill. We use color and roughness, and drag the roughness all the way up. And the color will just go for a dark brown. With a black mask, and we use the dirt generator. And that'll help darken up inside there and in the crevices as well. And just looks, I can paint some on too if you want, but I don't, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Uh, we could try to try planar, just leave it at that. 
Okay, so it's in there because it looks a little bit bare without it. All right, so we've got that. So the next thing that we need are some panel lines. And I've really gone back and forth with respect to whether or not I want to put bolts. And I, I'm not sure. So I'm going to call that dirt. I'm just going to touch that up to be edges. And all that's looking fine. I'm going to save. And uh, I'll do it above the dirt. I might drag it below after. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to snap that to orthographic so we can look at the top. But I'm also going to come over here and look at the, uh, the UV stuff. And this is the, the area that I'm, I'm going to want to deal with. Uh, to do the lines. Uh, so uh, to do the, the lines, I want to draw them in, but there's no real grid or anything to follow um, for wh where I draw my lines. And so I'm going to actually set up, I'm going to set up in here, uh, not a filter. I'm going to add a fill to this main layer. I'm just this is just going to be for the guide. And I'm going to use height and maybe color. I'll leave the color on it. And in the height, I'm going to use the tile generator. And I'm going to use the bricks. And I'm going to add a mask, a black mask to this. And we're going to use chunk. And I just it's just this area where I want the lines. And all I want to use this for is a guide and put lines down like that so let's see one two three four five six seven i think that's going to be okay for the size of of this uh so this is just my guide let's see what i'm getting at in a moment so i'm going to add another fill and this one i'm going to use color and height to drop the height down to about I'll use three quarters down for now, and I'll change the height to black. I may not use the height. I may end up using just dirt, and I'm going to add a, a black mask, and I'm going to add a paint. And in the alphas, I think I will use the square, and I'll put the size at about... 0 0.8 we'll try this first I'm gonna hold down shift and control and drag through there and I'll, I'll, I'll hide that periodically and we'll look at it and if it's not exactly equal it doesn't matter really so I'm gonna go with that so I've got one and I'm just gonna go through this at least I'll have them closer than if I completely did it by eye. So we'll go through and we'll see if they are going all the way through. Looks pretty good so far. So put the guide back on. And I think I'm at this one. I hope I didn't do another one. Maybe I'll do that one again. All right, let's just get through these. So I'm doing my lines on the UVs because I UV unwrapped this piece separate from the very top. It's a little easier to do it this way. And that is what I get. I'm going to press uh, F2 to go right back to this view. And I'm going to go back into perspective. And this is what I have. Okay. There they are. I'm going to bring this up to 2K now. If I take off the color, I'm left with this. And I do get some nice jaggedness in here. And so I'm, I think I'm okay with that. So I'm going to get rid of the guide. 
these are my lines. I'm going to drag the lines under the dirt and I'm going to call and I'm not going to do that. <laughs> and on the black mask here with the paint, I'm going to add an anchor point, what we call just lines mask, that's fine. And I'm going to come to the dirt generator and scroll down to micro details and turn micro height on, make it true. And then micro height here, choose that anchor point. And I'm going to have this. And I can adjust the levels if I want. I'm actually going to go back while I do this to 1K. And I've been thinking about putting the black there and the white here. Just have something like that. So with all of that done there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select them all and control G to create a folder. Let's put the dirt in the folder as well. And where did the dirt go? It's at the bottom. I want the dirt above the anchor point right there. And I'm going to call this uh, diner uh, main metal, let's say. Now you could save that. You could right click and save that as a smart material if you want to use it again. But I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to come to the bottom now and I'm going to paste that. However, I want to get rid of a couple of things. I don't want the lines in there and I don't need that reference to the anchor there. So I'm going to get rid of that, turn that back to false. So we got dirt, rust, edges. Uh, there's really no dark inside on this thing. I don't want that there. I'm going to get rid of that. And you can tweak these values, but I think I'll wait till I get more of the model in before I will. So that is the top and the bottom. I know it doesn't it doesn't really look like much. You can't really tell what it is at this point. All right, let's come over to a different a different lighting. See what it's like. Okay, so once again, whether or not I decide to put the bolts, we'll have to see. Uh, yeah, this will all start taking shape once we get more, more parts of the model in, but I just wanted to show you that. So we've got our metal and our rust, and I may come in and put some more da some damage on this. Uh, we'll see. I'm not sure how much I'm going to do uh, with respect to that, but that is it for the time being.